hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel so i asked you guys yesterday in my community to have if you guys wanted just a tj maxx and marshall's haul or a vlog and a haul and you guys wanted a vlog and a haul so i did vlog and i just showed you guys kind of like some stuff that i saw i didn't talk that much in the vlog i don't know but i did show y'all some stuff that i saw and then i'm gonna show you guys what i actually got at the end yeah don't forget to like comment and subscribe and here goes the vlog footage You're at tj maxx and it just got done raining and it looks so pretty outside i'm looking in the purse section and i don't really see anything that's like screaming at me so i don't think i'm gonna be getting a purse from here Now we're at Marshall's. Look how cute all of these are. So cute. Okay, so now we're gonna get into this haul because I have a lot of stuff to haul. We're gonna start off with Marshalls only because I didn't get that much stuff from Marshalls. I only got two things, so I'm gonna show y'all what I got from Marshalls. Actually, I got three things. So the first thing that I got is this Hello Kitty Cream Shop uh, makeup bag. And I actually got this from my mom. She wanted this. And it's just a makeup bag. It's so cute and it's so big in the inside. That's what it looks like. It's a really nice size makeup bag. And this makeup bag was $14.99. It's kind of hard to see. There you go. The next thing that I got from Marshalls is this Urban Decay All Nighter um, setting powder. And this was only $7.99. And for a setting powder, I mean, I just will not about to pass that up. It's just a translucent powder. I don't know if you guys can see the color, but that's what it looks like. 
and I thought that was a really good deal. I don't even know what the original price for this is. I haven't seen any reviews on this product either. This is just something that I'm going to try out and we'll see how that goes. And the last thing that I got from Marshalls, which is something that I really, really wanted. I feel like the whole point of me going out to the stores was to find this and I found it and I'm so happy. So this is the Pat McGrath. Um, how do I, what is it? I don't even know. Okay, this is the Pat McGrath Mothership Midnight Sun eyeshadow palette. And this is what it looks like. Before this haul, I have not owned any Pat McGrath eyeshadow palettes. They're just so expensive. But this was only $39.99, which is a bit pricey for something at Marshalls. But for a Pat McGrath palette, that's a really, really good price. So I did pick it up, which I'm so happy about. I'm so happy about this y'all because like I said I don't own any Pat McGrath and it looks so pretty look at that I'm gonna go ahead and swatch a couple shades because I want to see what it looks like like what is the hype about because I don't even know they're very glittery I'm more intrigued by the shimmer shades than I am the matte shades but there are some really nice matte shades in this palette as well so I'm gonna just swatch one matte shade but here here is the swatches I'm really excited to try this out I feel like this is gonna be like a special occasion type of palette I don't know I'm real excited about this and I'm keeping it in the box and I usually don't keep my palettes in the box but the packaging on this is just gorgeous I'm really really happy about that and I am gonna haul one more thing from Marshalls that I didn't pick up today but I did pick it up at a Marshalls on a different day and I mean I might as well include it in this haul it's the Bridgerton eyeshadow palette from Pat McGrath and this was $24.99 I don't know if you guys can see that this one was $24.99 and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like I've been waiting to haul this because I just this is the only thing that I found on that trip and I was like I'm just waiting until I have a full on haul those are the shades and I'm gonna swatch some of these as well that is just that one is so pretty look at that and let's swatch one more so those are the two swatches I feel like the second swatch kind of blends in with my skin a little bit but I'm so happy to have some Pat McGrath in my life I've always wanted a Pat McGrath palette and I'm so happy to have them at the stores I saw you girlies hauling them and I was like let me go check my stores because I want me a Pat McGrath palette for $40 or $25 yep because those palettes be the mothership palettes be like $120 <sighs> not paying that now let's get into TJ Maxx so I did get some beauty items girl I don't even know I got some makeup I got some beauty stuff and just some random stuff so first up from TJ Maxx okay I got this this is a jar full of compressed towelettes it has 90 of them in here wow it is really a lot of them so this is what it looks like they're just like little they look like little circles but then when you wet them they turn into towelettes they're durable non-woven cotton linen towelettes for a quick cleanup just add water perfect for travel and they are biodegradable and eco-friendly and this was only $5.99 and then next up I picked up some makeup remover rose water nothing too special this was $3.99 I just want to have this and keep it on my vanity for when I want to remove my eye makeup or my makeup period and then to go along with that I got these cotton pads in this really pretty jar it was $6.99 I've been looking for the Hello Kitty Crim Shop jar but I never could find it so I finally just got this it comes with 100 cotton pads and it's only $6.99 and the jar is kind of cute and it kind of reminds me of this candle that I have over here on my vanity so yeah I just went ahead and got this even though it's not the Hello Kitty one that I really really wanted but it's fine I also went ahead and picked up the cotton swab jar to match my cotton pads this comes with 600 cotton swabs and it was only $6.99 I don't know if y'all can see that at the bottom but it was only $6.99 really cute jar and yeah I kind of needed these I needed this this wasn't even a this was something I've been needing for a while and I just finally picked it up today the next thing that I got that I am so happy about look at this Hello Kitty mug you guys look at her I think I'm gonna use this to hold like some makeup brushes this was only $7.99 okay so the next thing that I picked up is this hair waver it's a pink one and I've been wanting to try these hair wavers because 
I've just been seeing it all over TikTok and this was only $19.99. I don't know, now that, I, now that I've put heat in my hair after not putting heat in my hair for a couple years, I'm just like, I might as well just do whatever I want to do to it because I'm low-key tired of having it curly and I don't even be taking care of it the way I need to. So I think that I'll be able to use this waiver when I blow dry my hair. So I don't know, maybe I won't have to flat iron it and then put this in there because that's a lot of heat, but hopefully I can just blow dry my hair and then put this. So yeah, I got me a hair waiver. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, so the last two things that I got are makeup items and they are also Pat McGrath. This whole haul is pretty much Pat McGrath makeup, so yeah. So I got the Pat McGrath Celestial Nervina Bronze Bliss Palette and this was $14.99. And I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. This is so pretty. Look at all those shimmers. So I got that one and then I also got the Celestial Nervina nude allure palette this one was also $14.99 and I'm gonna show you guys what this one looks like oh shoot I think somebody might have swatched one of these I think somebody swatched it but um this is what it looks like I kind of feel like somebody put their finger in there I'll just clean it with alcohol though because I already got it it's already here but let's let me swatch this shade because it looks really pretty so I just swatched two of the shades and that's what it looks like. That's all the shades together. Y'all hear Ari singing her little heart out. <laughs> she loves to sing and dance. So yeah, that's everything that I got on my little trip to TJ Maxx and Marshalls. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment down below and I'll see you guys in my next video.